Thank you very much, Prof. Nal, for that introduction. So, as we've heard from the sessions, um, the, the importance of surveillance and also what Miracon can offer you in terms of surveillance. So we understand that surveillance is absolutely critical to understand disease dynamics, to track and monitor progress, to forecast vaccine requirements, both in the human and animal health sectors, to support the case for elimination in terms of advocacy, political will, international interest, of course, getting that, that, that funding that's needed to drive your elimination programs, you need that good surveillance to demonstrate your progress and success. And most importantly, you need good surveillance to gather evidence for the declaration of freedom from rabies. So if we look at what are critical components of a good rabies surveillance system, we see that there are a lot of different things that are needed. So we understand that it needs to be a One Health rabies surveillance system. If you look at the, the ball on the top, uh, we need to track uh, patients and bite victims as well as post-exposure prophylaxis. Um, we need to look at laboratory data analysis and reporting. Um, we heard integrated bite case management and the importance of that was mentioned um, by Dan and the importance of active surveillance for the Declaration of Freedom. Um, tracking your dog vaccinations and um, the importance of reporting on a national but also on the regional and international levels to get that advocacy and that awareness and that support for your rabies elimination efforts. And all of these aspects tie in to make a good rabies surveillance system. And this is a lot to, to, to address and a lot that needs to be done. But we have a system that can help you to accomplish all of these activities all bundled into a single system, and that is the Rabies Epidemiological Bulletin. So I'll be discussing with you a little bit about the Rabies Epidemiological Bulletin. Um, it is a web-based rabies surveillance system, so that means you don't need any special software to, to use the system. You can simply log in um, through the internet um, as you would, like you would go to any other website. The importance of the system is that it is designed for countries to help countries, and is to help them improve their surveillance, their data collection, and the analysis of that data. Most importantly, the system is government-owned and driven. So um, GARC, who, who created the system, does not own the data. It's government-owned data. All the information belongs to the government, and um, the government must provide specific permission to anyone who wishes to use that data. So the, the data will never be used without the government's express permission. Importantly, it's based on the DHIS2 software, and we know that the DHIS2 is used in a lot of the public health ministries uh, worldwide, um, especially in Africa and, and the Middle East regions, uh, where it is a, quite a strong system in the public health uh, surveillance. and. The system addresses surveillance on all different levels. So looking at the local level, within communities, within individual clinics or hospitals, all the way to the national level, so having an, a national overview of the current situation of rabies within your country, and also on the international level where it is possible um, through the system to share your data with the international um, databases such as the OIE WAHIS and the WHO Global Health Observatory. So looking at the One Health aspects of a good rabies surveillance system, the EPI Bulletin is a comprehensive surveillance system with integrated intersectoral data sharing. And this facilitates accurate data reporting not only within a single sector, but across the different sectors. And it's dedicated to a One Health rabies surveillance system. The system automatically generates graphs, maps, pivot tables, and any other analyses for you. So it um, precludes the need for any experts or GIS experts um, to analyze your data. And it helps to track vaccinations, rabies cases, and human bite cases, among many other aspects of rabies surveillance. Um, there's a short clip here just showing you um, the dashboard of an example of a dashboard of the system and shows you how the entire system and all the uh, outputs are interactive. 
So you can filter the different graphs based on what you want to observe. Um, if you can ex um, get specific data and specific information by hovering or clicking on the different data points. The system is compatible with every, almost everything. It's, you can use it on your computer. There's a mobile phone application um, that ties in with the system. And there's also a custom tra uh, vaccination tracking device that we have developed. And as I said, that one of the key advantages of the Epi Bulletin is that it is a one health system, bringing that human health data and that animal health data and displaying it in the same graphs and the same maps where that is advantageous. So if you would like to look at the um, number of human rabies cases reported in an area, you can then overlay your dog vaccination cases over that, or the, your dog vaccination data over that on the same map to see where you may have missed vaccinations and that demonstrating the evidence that the mass dog vaccination has an effect on the human rabies cases. Looking briefly at um, the reporting and data aggregation, we understand that data is often reported, often not reported from the local level to the national level, just because of the requirements for data analysis and taking that paper, those paper-based forms and converting it um, to something that is analyzable and therefore stakeholders remain unaware of the burden of the disease and therefore rabies is not considered a problem or a priority in the country. So the REB helps with data aggregation, drawing that data from the local level to the national level. And this is a brief um, clip just to show you how the data aggregation works. So taking the information from the individual clinics aggregating it to the first administrative level, so possibly your districts, bringing that up to um, the next level, your provinces, and then all the way up to the national level. So you can see the data on every single administrative level throughout the entire country. Now, getting into some of the key aspects of the system, um, the system helps you with tracking your mass dog vaccinations. So there's a specific app that is available for your mobile phone, or alternatively, there's the GARC data logger, which allows you to track every single animal that has been vaccinated. And that allows you to generate maps um, automatically that are updated in real time to show you your mass vaccination campaign, to track the progress of your mass vaccination over time. And this allows real-time campaign monitoring and allows you to determine the vaccination coverage, but also to identify gaps in vaccination. And you can see some examples. These are just um, screenshots of some of the maps. But again, all of these maps would be um, interactive. So you can click on every single individual dot on these maps to then get specific information about that animal that has been vaccinated. And since 2018, more than 350,000 animals have been tracked using this system. So it's proven effective. It does work. Looking at um, briefly at laboratory data analysis and, and reporting, there's the rabies case surveillance component of the system, which allows you to map and analyze all of your field and or your laboratory diagnosed cases. So the importance of this system is that it allows you to identify hotspots and as I mentioned, because the system is a one health system, you can overlay this data where there are rabies hotspots identified through your um, confirmed laboratory diagnosis. And you can then target your mass vaccination to those specific areas. And also it allows you for, um, to have an accurate record keeping and tracking system of the samples within your own laboratory and within the different laboratories across the country. So again, some of the examples of, of some of the outputs that you can generate. And as I mentioned, again, all of these dots are interactive. You can get specific information for every single case that's um, on this map to then get the details about the rabies situation in that area. So touching briefly on the app. So this brings the, this, the entire system to your smartphone um, and allows you to access anywhere, anytime your, to allow you to track your dog vaccinations, track bite, bite victims, to have integrated bite case management in your hand or in the field, and to have laboratory reporting. All of that is possible through your GARC app 
on your smartphone. And importantly, this app can be used offline. So the system is ready to implement. Um, it's waiting for you to contact us so that we can um, do the last little steps and create specific user logins for you so that you can start using any aspect of the system. There's no obligation to use all of the features. You can start off at the local level or you can start off at the national level. So if you'd want to try something at a, in a small scale intervention um, or in a local level community project, we can start off with that, see how it works, and then um, hopefully we would then begin expanding that to the national level. So please, if you're interested in any of these features, feel free to contact us at the Global Alliance for Rabies Control, and we can then help to provide you with a really strong One Health surveillance system to address all your rabies surveillance needs. So in conclusion, we understand that rabies elimination is a complex task, but there's no need to complicate things further. So we have tools available to make your job easier, and specifically the Rabies Epidemiological Bulletin can address all of your surveillance, data collection, and reporting needs. Um, the system is available for you and can address any aspects from the community level all the way to the national level and even up to the international level if you desire. And importantly, if you have a system available in your country already, um, we want to work with you to then include some of the components, if you desire, from the EPI Bulletin into your own national system, um, if it is a DHIS2 system. So the idea is not for us to hold on and to control the system or the data, but rather hand over to the governments as soon as they are ready to um, take full control of the system within their country. So to find out a little bit more about the system, you can always contact us. Please ask me any questions in the discussion session. Um, and you can also look at our website um, at the Rabies Epidemiological Bulletin as well as the GARC Data Logger. And you can always address email us to discuss your different needs and whether you are interested in implementing one of these components or if you have other questions or other needs for surveillance in your country. So thank you very much.